uh, the reason why I turned my life around is definitely because of my family. Um, you know, this is where it's going to be touching for me, but uh, you know, it's definitely from that first day that my child was born. Uh, from that point on, I said, you know what, I need to be around. Um, and I definitely want to live long enough to be around for everything like that first walk to that walk where they walk down with someone that they get married to. So, and then even into, you know, being around for their offsprings so that I can return that circle back to them and, and sharing what I received growing up. And then also to be around definitely, you know, the health was not in my vocabulary. Uh, but until I had my family and then, you know, watching and enjoying the fruits of those um, little ones, definitely is what changed my life around. Um, I, I now look into things which I know myself and a lot of folks um, of my age do not consider even thinking about, which is health. Uh, because there are other things to worry about. There, there are bills to pay. There are, uh, you know, jobs to get to. And then we tend to lose focus of that. And I know I was heading in that route, but it wasn't until you know my family when I realized that I do need to make that change. And it's everything from you know that little walk, park farther from the mall, and then just take that little extra walk. Um, the way I've kind of compensated for that is that it's just you know consider it longer time that you talk with your kid, your, your kids going to the mall. So any what seemed to be kind of a in the way as far as uh, health um, I just put a different spin on it as far as you know it's just more time that you're going to be around for your kids uh, more time you're going to be around for your grandkids uh, more time you're going to be around for your spouse uh, definitely I do not want the burden to fall on them and I know if I don't take care of myself then definitely I'm not doing my obligation like I mentioned earlier which is to take care of my family and the best way to do that is to take care of myself Um, again, I'm of Samoan descent and uh, very deeply rooted in the culture. Uh, you know, it, it's definitely the culture and values is what drive a lot of the Samoan people. Uh, we wouldn't have survived if we didn't have all that. Um, myself, being raised here in the States, uh, definitely have to balance uh, the culture versus adjusting here to the lifestyles in America. Um, and then just kind of my age and the position in the community I definitely, um, I, I feel that I'm definitely in a key position to be a resource, uh, both to the elders and to the youth or the future of our communities. Um, like I mentioned, as far as the elders, I'm towards the bottom tier as a young adult. Um, as a young adult, I'm towards the top as far as uh, the young adults. So definitely it's a, a very key position, but also has its difficulties. Um, you know, being towards the bottom in the adult uh, tier, um, you know, you have to play some of those cultural roles where I have to be the person outside the table looking in, uh, but could also, it could also be very key in that what I share or learn as a young adult, uh, when I do find that ear from the elders, um, I can share that with them and kind of bring them, um, kind of bringing the two worlds together. Um, the same with uh, young adults. A lot of us are very eager and driven but tend to lose that sense of culture. And then with that alone causes the friction between the two categories, which is the adults and, or the elders and uh, the young adults or youth. Uh, so I definitely find myself uh, in a key position uh, to be that resource.